so hello guys today in this video i will be explaining you like as if you are a very young child and you don't understand the things so i will be explaining you like you are young you are like five so this series will be literally fun because i will explain complex topics like paradoxes just like you are five so hope you will enjoy this kind of uh, series because i'm trying to do it like uh, really first time here so right here uh, what paradoxes mean i will be explaining everything but mostly i will be topping lens my topic will be around this thing of time paradox so time is a part of this paradox so what actual paradox means so it's really tricky or riddle like puzzle okay so it's something that when you think more you get more confused so what actually paradox is if i say it in a very very simple language it is that that suppose you i will explain it visually on my notepad you know so suppose you see a sign where it writes this is false So here's a sign which writes this is false and now this sign if this sign is writing the truth means this is the truth written on this sign board then this is false but if whatever written on this board is false means not right or wrong then this is true suppose you take it like this this board says this is false and somebody is pranking you so that means he's pranking you that means he wants to show you there is truth behind it okay behind this path you have truth but the sign is saying this is false that means this sign is false that means this will become true the original writing should be this is true but it is written this is false because there is truth behind it but if it is actually leading to false then the sign is true not this true whatever written on the sign it is correct because it's actually leading you to false so what do it mean that the more you think about this that makes you scratch your head and say like what a minute how can it be possible so it is not that simple but i tried you to simple make it simple this way so let me recap if you are just confused too much like a sign board which leads to a road named uh, false and the sign board read, writes the same thing that this way leads to I mean, this is false okay so that means it's showing you the correct thing but now the same sign board which leads to true suppose you take false and true as a place okay so it leads to true but the sign board writes this is false that means the sign board is wrong this is what paradox means but here i have shown you with two different boards now we combine these two boards and make it to one the same scenario the same board showing you two ways and written in one so one will be true one will be false so i think you have got till this much now let's come to the main topic what actually are different types of paradoxes actually not paradoxes but time paradoxes now when i'm talking about time paradoxes you should be knowing that uh, time is really complex thing okay so you cannot just explain it uh, like very easily but i will try my best in order to make you explain this thing out of nowhere without any previous theory of knowledge i don't know whether you have or not so there are several types of time paradoxes like few of uh, you have already known if you are very few, i know you all watch instagram uh, youtube shorts and reels kind of things so you know about this thing which one is 
grandfather paradox so you know about grandfather paradox i will be explaining each of them but let me first say you about them okay then second come is bootstrap paradox not well known but there it is okay now the third one comes is the predestination paradox now all of this three the most popular uh, one is this one all of these all are theories and not verified so the very first thing we will be coming with this grandfather paradox is according to grandfather paradox if you are ever able to go back in time suppose you got time machine you got this and you went back in time okay so you went back in time you have your grandpa meeting your grandma but you went back in time and you stopped that your grandpa didn't meet your grandma so if they didn't meet that means your parents who are actually your parents are non-existent because they are your parents because your grandpa met your grandma now you have someone else is somebody else's parents you become non-existent so your parents are non-existent so you are still non-existent what do this mean you went back in time you this person went back in time and stopped his future his non-existent in future so you were never born so you came back in time you you came back in time you stopped yourself from being formed so you are vanished that's what according to is a grandfather paradox that your existence you can just remove your existence by not letting your grandpa meet your grandma so it's important to for them to meet not that no that's not important i was joking enough but what more important is to know what this mean okay now let's come back to the second one which calls the bootstrap paradox so now this bootstrap paradox if you just see so imagine you find a magic book okay with all the answers to your homework like it's a magic book which gives you all answers but specifically answers to your homework you use the book then go back in time and give the book to your younger self the younger self can use the book and later grow up to become you but then where from the book came once where from the book arrived to him now this is a bit tricky if you just take it like this this one is younger you and this one is adult you in between you still got this time machine tm just mean time machine okay so don't mistake for anything else so you got this time machine now everything was just fine you didn't got that time machine also you didn't got this book also but you grown up but your situations are not very likely so what you did you got this book this book uh, in which you find all the answers which will let you become more successful in your future than the way you are now so in order to become more successful you thought why not travel back in time and give this same book to my younger self so now this book is not with you you came back to your own time but your younger self have this book now he slowly slowly grown and he actually grown to be successful man and when you are grown you also have that book with you because this boy grown to this boy and the book you went and give back to your younger self your younger self will be carrying back to you so where from that book actually came from take it like i told you this book is non existent now okay suppose and 
you your younger self also don't have that book you also don't have that book but suddenly you just got this book out of nowhere when you grow up suppose in one timeline you got this book when you grow up and you thought why not give it to my younger self so you go back in time and give it to your younger self now you're young now you come back to future now your future self don't have this book because they give it to the younger self but again that younger self is also leaving the same timeline as your bigger self means older self so what happens one of your means that's the same person that same person when he was child he got that book and that same person when he grow up will have that book but on the other hand the this person gave the book back to the younger one so what happens actually you don't have that book but you have that book so it's really confusing that's why we name it the bootstrap paradox okay if it's getting too much hectic i will make another but i i don't know i will be making visual videos or not but soon i will be trying to but it is really very time consuming that's why i just made this explain our videos you would be loving okay so this was the bootstrap paradox now when um you already got like really men's brain fuck consumed so a uh, easier paradox this is predestination paradox this is quite simple but what this means is suppose you are in a story okay so now i'm explaining the predestination paradox according to predestination paradox suppose you are reading a story book and you are part of that story okay now your life is a movie like a story now you're stuck in there because as a book is written that character has to be that way because what's written in the book they have to go by that and that do mean if you are part of a story your future is already written and you are just going through the path to your future nothing like you are creating a future but you are predestined so that's what the name predestination is said about so you are predestined your future is already written which many of the religious scriptures also say that everything's going to happen is going to happen because it's already written so this paradox predestination paradox is quite we already know about this but not like a very serious one but yeah we know that so if you just learn something out of this three paradoxes then i hope you should be liking and subscribing to my channel because more of this kind of interesting and question striking videos will be uploaded um till then goodbye